guys, it's Victoria, and today I'm going to show you how I package my laser cut jewelry for my retail and wholesale orders. I'll let you know where I get my supplies, and I'll link them below in the description of this video. For my stud earring cards, I purchased them from Moo.com and I created the design to match my branding in Adobe Illustrator. On the design, I added two circles that will indicate where I will punch the holes where the earrings will go through, and I punched those holes with a 1 16th inch hole punch from Amazon. I placed the earrings into 3.5 by 3.5 inch boxes that are cotton filled and black matte. I also include this earring care card so customers know how to take care of their earrings and had them printed from vistaprint.com. I placed the earring care card at the bottom of the box with a sticky glue dot and then I finished the package up with a black satin ribbon. I like to include a thank you card just to show my customers how much I appreciate them. On the front, I have a design that matches my branding that says thank you. And on the back, I have a discount code that the customer can use along with my social media info. And these I have printed at vistaprint.com. Along with the packing slip, I now place the order inside of a 7x9 inch cardboard mailer that I get from ecoenclose.com. I always try to order my packaging in bulk because typically the more you order, the cheaper the individual items will be. I now add a thank you sticker or a happy mail sticker to the top of the package. And I also like to place a sticker that adds some personality to the package. For example, if it's a holiday order, I'll place a sticker that represents that specific holiday. Or if it's not a holiday, I'll place a sticker that complements my branding. I buy them in bulk, so I'm not breaking the bank to add these to my packages. <laughs> I package my dangle earrings a bit differently. Since these are quite a bit larger than my stud earrings, I need to place them on a larger earring card. I order the dangle earring cards from Zazzle.com. I really love these earring cards because they're nice and thick and they also have a nice satin feel to them. Next, to add an extra layer of protection, I wrap the earrings in clear compostable cellophane bags. I couldn't find the perfect size bag to fit these cards, so I fold them and tape them to match the card size perfectly. I get these bags from elevatepackaging.com. The boxes that I use for the dangle earrings are rectangular black matte cotton filled boxes. They're three and three quarter inches wide by five and a quarter inch long from Amazon. And then I use the same packing materials to package up the dangle earrings. I get boxes from Uline.com, and for this specific example, I'm using a box that's 9 by 7 by 3. I line the inside of the box with tissue paper, and I package the products up the same way I do for retail, and then I wrap them in bubble wrap. In the box, I include the packing slip, the bubble wrap product, and on top, I place a thank you card, which has a handwritten note on the back. To ship the packages, I use the self-scan inside of the post office. That way, if anything goes wrong, like a package goes missing, I'll have a receipt that proves that I dropped them off. Alright, that's all I have for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Ooh, ooh, everything's alright